Hello scrappers and casters. For tonight's video I decided to make a uh, guardian angel. I pretty much used the mold uh, as a Christmas ornament. That's what I got the mold from. And uh, I'm going to be doing an open pour cast uh, in sand. Uh, the sand is called uh, Petrobond. It's an oil based sand. Um, it really captures the details pretty well. And you go ahead and put the, uh, the actual object in there and you beat it down. Um, we're going to be casting it with brass keys. Uh, these keys I obtained uh, this week from doing re-keys. Pretty much one of some of our customers will call us and say, hey, we need uh, you know, all these locks re-keyed at your office and uh, we'll either ship them out or they'll come pick them up. So this is pretty much the variety of keys that I end up with usually at the end of the week. These are the factory keys that come with them and then we re-key it to their numbers. So. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and adding some borax. Uh, the borax is actually gonna go ahead and uh, help remove the impurities from the metal and it's actually going to uh, float to the top and then I'll be able to go ahead and scoop it out with my little ladle that I have. Um, I've got the furnace running right now. I've got a brand new uh, crucible that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm seasoning it right now so I'm running it on very low power. Oh, it's about actually oh, it's going out right now. So actually it's about ready anyways. So yeah so once you season it and stuff you got to add borax which I already did add and I'm just pretty much going to go ahead and uh, you can see that. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, swirl it around to put a coating on it, or a glaze rather. And then once you do that, you know the crucible is ready to rock. So we'll get the uh, we'll get the furnace set up with the uh, brass keys inside, and we'll go ahead and melt it, and we'll go ahead and bring it back.
Not sure if you can hear me or not, but I'm using a respirator. When you're melting brass, it releases zinc oxide into the air, and it's got this little, very light, spongy material. And if you breathe it in, it's really bad for your health. So uh, always use a respirator when you're melting brass. So the discoloration on there is uh, flux uh, that was at the very top or at the very bottom of the crystal. I don't know, but uh, that it it actually hardens like glass. I don't know if you can see that, but like that's like glass right there, very very brittle glass. So uh, that'll actually chip right off when I do the cleanup. Okay, we're back. So, here's the end result. Um, I couldn't ask for a better pour. I'll be totally honest with you, that's probably one of the nicest things that I've actually casted. Um, especially being an open pour, there was a moment there where I thought that this was going to solidify first, and then I couldn't pour it fast enough. But um, I guess I was wrong. I mean, it came out pretty good. I might just sand this down a little bit. This is supposed to be a trumpet, but it's actually part of a two-piece ornament and I just used half of it um, here's actually the back half that's what the back half of the ornament looks like and I cut it out took a razor knife right to the edge and just split it and then I used the front side to actually do the casting in the sand so all in all uh, yeah I'm very satisfied with this um, hopefully you guys are too anyways thanks for watching